Hello everyone, welcome to episode 18 of Stratwatch. So here we go, this is the 18th and final instalment, final episode of Stratwatch. We've been doing Stratwatches since November, all the way through the uh, season. It's been an incredibly interesting season in terms of stratospheric developments. Really unusual uh, winter and year to start us off for these uh, strap watches. And uh, we've reached out of our journey, so SSW has occurred, of course, with our zone winds in reverse for several days, and will continue to be in reverse for several days as well. And so for the final time this season, we are going to go through all things stratospheric wise. So I should get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first. The video is today was our 6th end UK World forecast. And we'll be live at 6 p.m. with the final Wednesday live stream for the time being as well. So, um, quite, a, quite an auspicious day at Gazworthy today. Final strap watch, final Wednesday live stream. Both will be coming back, though, later on in the year. Wednesday live stream probably back for the summer. And uh, strap watch back for the winter of 2024-25. At least, hope. Hopefully. Right, okay, so let's turn off webcam then, and for the last time, let's see what's happening in the stratosphere over the Arctic and the North Pole. We will still look at this occasionally in the 10 to 14 days, by the way. Um, right, so, uh, warming being maintained at 10 to 8 p.m. Over, over the Arctic and the North Pole. This is from the JMA call. The back line shows how temperatures have been performing through this season, where we currently are. The temperature at 10 8 Bay versus uh, the grey line, which is average of the trend line. So you can see we're hovering around minus 40 degrees at 10 HPA. We should at this point in March be around here, somewhere around minus 52, minus 53, something like that. So still above average temperatures at 10 HPA. And look how the season has progressed. It's been a very strange season, as I say. We did have a couple of colder uh, interludes early in the season. So uh, late November, we went a little bit colder than average, uh, particularly noticeably so around Christmas to, toward, towards the new year. We went down to minus 80, about the low point, I think of the stratospheric temperature, but into the new year, we have the first uh, SSW back to warming of the strategy. It looks quite dramatic, but it only reverses the zone of wind for about 24 or 48 hours. And since they've been very up and down, but generally trending above average, and I say that is where we currently reside. Now, if we go a little bit lower down, to 38 pa there we can see that warming is being maintained as well so we're currently hovering somewhere around minus 53 something like that maybe um at this point in march you'd expect us to be around here which is close to uh minus 60 so simply above average at both 10 but particularly notably so at 30 hpa actually, with uh, temperatures uh, at 38 pm strategy over the Arctic of the North Pole, uh, way above normal. So this is how the uh, GFS is forecasting stratospheric, stratospheric temperature to about for the next couple of weeks. We have a, yet another warming going on, this time centred over Scandinavia and Northern parts are a rather strange, different place for uh, that to be happening. Um, but anyway, that kind of fades out, and we'll just give temperature generally above average, really, over the uh, next couple of weeks. Gradually cooling it back down to around minus 50, something like that. But it does look like the PB is pretty much done there, I have to say. Well, what is left of the PB looks very weakened and disorganised and, uh, and whatnot. So, you know, the PB might have a go at reforming, but I think basically all of these continuous warming events and displacement events and whatnot have... Um, you know, have, have really knocked it on the head. So this is from uh, where is called. Let's get rid of the green line. So uh, this confirms zone wings are in reverse. So one way of looking at the uh, polar vortex, of course, is the blue colours there. It's the polar vortex at its roots over the Canadian side of the Arctic, actually, at the moment. Uh, so that's one way of looking at the PB. Another way of looking at PB is through the zone of wind, and that kind of takes the strength of the polar vortex. So we see this polar vortex is in reverse in the stratosphere, has been for about a week. This zero line is all important and uh, the blue line showed that we are currently just there so we probably have quite a significant reversal of the zone of winds at 10 hp and as i say we have had a uh, zone of wind reversal for about a week now probably over a week actually going even weaker with the uh, zone of wind over the next few days so dropping down to minus 20 um which is a very very weakened zone of wind indeed we do see the zone of wind starting to pick back up a little bit 
they tried in March, possibly tried to get back into a positive territory. But uh, to be honest, as I say, it does look as though the PV is pretty much done for in terms of the stratospheric PV anyway for this season. That's all GFS data, but the ECL also showed all of this up very nicely. This is from University of Berlin. So uh, on the 12th of uh, March, yesterday, we confirmed that uh, the zone of wind was in reverse at 10 8 grade, 60 degrees north at minus 8.9 ms. And day 10, still with a uh, zone of wind reversal, minus 10.8.3, uh, minus 10.3, I should say, uh, ms. That's the 21st of March. So a prolonged and extended reversal of zone of wind has already taken place and will continue to do so over the next 10 days. Go low down to 38 pa. Well, yes, uh, that level of the stratosphere zone of wind reversed uh, on the 12th of March, went down to uh, minus 0 0.3 ms in 10 days' time. We still see a reversal of zone of winds at minus 5.7 ms. So this is a very uh, dramatic stratospheric development, you know, to have such a prolonged reversal of zone of winds over so many days and weeks. And days and weeks. Of course, the big unknown is what, if any, tropospheric response we will get to all of this. Uh, this is from the extended uh, ECM. So uh, this is 10 HPA temperature anomaly for week one, the 18th to 25th of March. That's the uh, latest warming here um, across uh, Northern Europe, Scandinavia and whatnot. Um, week two looks like that. So warming maintained across the North Atlantic and Northern parts of Europe as well. Week three starts to cool things down, especially on the Siberian side of the uh, North Pole, and that's weeks four, and that's weeks five. So as we go to April, we actually see the stratospheric temperature becoming a little bit colder. That might be the PV having another go at uh, reforming as we go into uh, April. It will be weakened, and, you know, it won't come back as much, I would have thought, but we might see the PV kind of reforming into the first half of April before we get the final warming, which uh, usually cyclically occurs at the end of April and into the start of May. And uh, finally, this is the uh, mean zone of wind forecast at 10 HPA for the extended ECM. Again, just confirming zone of winds are in reverse at the moment. We're just there. And further weakening of zone of winds to come down to around minus 20 in the next few days. But zone of wind gradually tries to get back into a positive territory. By the beginning of April, a very weakly positive uh, zone of wind there. And that takes us through, uh, through the middle part of April. Maybe slightly above average with respect to zone of wind. But will still be very weak, of course, due to the time of the year. Right, OK, so uh, that is it for episode 18 of Stratwatch and the final episode of Stratwatch for this season. I hope you've enjoyed this new feature on the channel. If you have enjoyed the season of Stratwatches and you want to see uh, season two for the winter 2024-25, then please give us a like, share, subscribe and let us know in the comments. I'm sure Stratwatch will return uh, later on in the year. Uh, right, so uh, that's going to be live at 6pm with the final Wednesday live stream for the time being as well. I shall see you a little bit later on for that one. But for episode 18 of Stratwatch, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.